Welcome to the show, The Secret Southwest. Thank you for taking the time to meet with us today. Yeah, thank you guys. Me and Arnie here are going to go ahead and take you through what we have to offer you. Let me introduce you to the team, and I'll tell you about our mission. This year's Doug. Doug's one of the leaders of the group. Spends a lot of his free time working out. He's a personal trainer, teaches CrossFit, takes care of himself. He's an outdoorsy guy. He learned a lot this semester, and he's been doing a lot for the group. He put together the story plot and summary and helped orchestrate what the code of conduct would be. Ryan Sullins, great guy, kind of a hipster, a little nerdy, likes pets. Ryan spent a good bit of the semester helping us go ahead and develop character, uh, character development, personalities for all the people and in all their roles, where we should take the episodes, how to go about putting together the projects and the presentations. Thank you, Ryan. Michael. Michael Krauss was kind of the leader for the most part for the first half, and then Doug stepped in. Uh, he spends most of his time with his girlfriend, plays guitar, works out a little bit. He's an adventurous uh, sort. He likes to study coding and network protocol in his free time. Uh, he put together most of the episodes and did the production and editing for everything. Andrew Schroeder. Andrew Schroeder wrote a reflection for couple parts. Good job, Andrew. My name's Odie, and let me tell you about the show. In the show, we have a young man named Jack, and he gets tired of the corporate lifestyle, loses all his investments, and ruined the lives of millions. Torn, he uh, ran off to the desert, did his own thing, Found a better purpose and meaning in life and wanted to help others. Runs to a group of beautiful women and they decide to put together a company to help enact his dream. The viewers of the show, our target market's gonna be people between 25 and 35, you know, mid, mid to late 20s, early to mid 30s. And uh, we're targeting people who want to know a little bit more about how to go ahead and execute and resolve problems within the workplace. People that have an uh, interest in the corporate business and structure and industry would greatly love this show. Now, let me show you a couple of our episodes so you can get a feel for what it's about. Just so you know, we spend a little bit of time taking a couple of core concepts from management and apply it to setting situations in the office setting. Here you go. Episode 5, A Screaming Distraction. Episode 5, A Screaming Distraction. In this episode, we're going to cover noise issues. In this episode, we're going to cover noise issues. Hey there, Jack. I need hey you there, to get Jack. some compliance issues. Sorted I need you to get some compliance issues. We need to make sure they get some compliance information. We need to make sure our overall distribution Ugh, process. Man, I don't really want to okay, deal with this. Okay, Don. Right I bet I could just type it up and send Ugh, it in a mass email. Man, email. I don't really want to deal with this right now. Following with these I bet I could just type it up and send it in a mass email. It's very important that you make sure to get this done. Apparently, you sent just a mass data. email. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Everyone got it. What do you want? There's a lot of issues with that. Jack. Can you please try to do I've a more direct that a lot approach of communicating this? Ain't following with these sure, don't. I'll take care of issues that we had. It's very important that you make sure to get this done. Hey guys. Apparently you Welcome sent to us the a mass launch. email. Um, I'm going to be yeah, presenting a slideshow that's going to go over some it. stuff that Don wanted me to cover with y'all. Make sure Can to follow through, follow it, read it. If you have sure, any questions, Don, send care. me an email. Enjoy the food. Hey guys. Welcome to the group lunch. Um, Jack. I'm going to be presenting Cereal. a slideshow that's going to go What's over some stuff on? that Don wanted me to cover with y'all. I heard that you did a meeting Make where you sure just left the presentation running while people 
finagled. If you have any questions, yeah, send me an email. I figured it, I told everyone to enjoy the food. And, you know, and I went back to my office, took care of something. A few weeks later. Jack, there's still people not following through with it, and it's a very important Jack. issue. Jack. Cereal. Do me a favor. What's going on? And meet with I heard that you did a meeting where you just left the presentation sure running while people sure thing, finagled. Yeah, I, I figured so I'm glad it, Jack I told went over everything to pay with you guys. And, you know, and yeah, we had an awesome went back meeting to and he uh, care of answered all our questions and went in depth with Jack, it. There's still people not going kind of through with it. Pointless. I was kind of confused on a few things. Can you follow in his lead and make sure you answer any questions about the new changes. The team leaders. And make sure that they completely so, understand this, what we're trying to get Jack accomplished here. Jack was told to go ahead and let everyone know. Sure thing, Don. He decided to go ahead and deal with the message in a very quick manner, but not an effective manner. Via so I'm email. glad Jack went he over sent out a mass email, you and that wasn't too effective. Yeah, he had a few awesome issues. awesome meeting, um, and he uh, answered all our questions and went in depth with it. Email that regularly. I didn't even uh, get the no email feedback. he originally sent out. These are noise issues. I mean, I didn't even notice so that he had a slideshow going the on message, in the back during that lunch. The, the audience yeah. that he was trying to get wasn't full. The lunch was kind of Don brought it back to him. I was kind of confused on a few things on the slide. Group lunch to get everyone together. Well, I'm glad everything's clear now, guys. And then go meet with your teams and follow in his lead. Make sure you answer any questions about the This was more effective as he was able to make sure that people got the information, but the he still end. wasn't allowing for any feedback. He also left the opportunity so, for distractions, such as side conversations Jack with Jack was told to go and ahead so and that's all let everyone know on the sales process. floors that there's new things that they need to get. Actually, that was good. Just, uh, just so then Don brings it back to him and says, hey, I, apparently he decided to go ahead and about the new deal with the message in a very quick yeah. manner, but not Question an effective clear. Answer their questions. Via email. They sent out a mass email, and that wasn't too effective. The email has a few issues. Sharing the and that's it. Thank mostly you for that watching. some people don't check their email that regularly. Uh, there's no feedback. Um, these are noise issues. So as you can see, so the episode takes the a situation. Those we were the noise apply our management issues. concepts, and, and then at the end the of the receiver episode, we didn't have to explain in the detail the audience that he was what was covered. Was it fully understood? Here's another episode. Don brought it back to him. Point. Explain that it wasn't clear. Do something more direct. So he tried to do a little group lunch to get everyone together. He presented it to them and then let them take in the information. This was more effective as he was able to make sure that people got the information, but he still wasn't allowing for any feedback. He also left the opportunity for distractions such as side conversation, the food, and those things. So that's all noise to the communication process. The further issue, actually that was good. Uh, so then Don brings it back to him and says, hey, I, apparently a lot of things weren't clear about the new you know, process. Can you please meet with the department heads and the supervisors directly and make sure they understand and they have any question that it's clear. So he did this and had a meeting, met with them individually, answered their questions, cleared it up. He avoided as much noise as possible, made sure that it was direct, the message was understood, received feedback, and processed everything. Don later met with everyone and followed up to make sure that everything was understood and made sure that they understood how to go about sharing this with everyone else. And that's it. Thank you for watching. You think this is me? <laughs> and welcome to episode six. And this one, make the people happy. And We're welcome to episode six. And this one, make the people happy. With the staff. We're going to be covering motivation about and employee satisfaction. Hey, Don. Been meaning to talk to you. <sighs> Man. You know, there's been a lot of issues coming actually up heard quite a bit about with it. the staff. Many people have complained people complaining about and all that. the facility. How you should discuss this and some of the people have reported Jen. some performance issues. The performance. She thinks this is due to certain issues. Hey, Don. I've been meaning to talk Yeah, Don, I feel the same. 
I've had a lot of people noticed that a lot of the salespersons there isn't much complain about the environment. Going on. Have you heard anything about that? Like they're more part of the team. Well, Sherry, I've actually heard Conscious. quite a bit about it. Many people have complained one way about we can the uncomfortableness of the desk, more accomplished sitting for long periods of time, if we set up some team coaching, and maybe some like progress reports so we can set up a database I've even heard a few complaints about set them up with yeah, 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 yeah. being stuck in small cubicles and how you like can't really see program. anything except for the tiny four walls around you. People I feel alone. Set up a wellness program we and organize certain I'm going to go talk to Jack. Health hack building, setting up flyers, and motivating Sherry people to get up. brought to my attention move around or the performance goals haven't been being met at a fast enough rate. She thinks this is due to certain issues the employees have with the environment that they're in at work. People in certain teams can be in a more yeah, open don't. environment. Yeah, I feel the same. In a more welcoming I've had a lot of people complain and about coordinate how there isn't much more team etiquette going on. More I was thinking maybe we could do a few things to right. make people feel like uh, they're more part of the team. One thing I think is very important is a lot of people don't feel like they get enough appreciation. If we set up some leaderboards, that way we can see who's doing the best and which and teams are doing this. the best. And that way people can see that they're being praised for their... Okay. All right. So, so I think one way that we can help people feeling work. more accomplished oh. is if we set Everyone up some needs. team coaching... And yeah, maybe we some like need progress to feel reports like so we can group, need to feel set up a database that individuals tracks all the need their to feel like we're sales and their records and then we can set them up with a training uh, we have report. our health concerns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and all this was covered. Great starting idea. a wellness program covers health concerns. I would concerns, like to start a wellness program. A lot of people have. A lot of people are getting stressed, and flyers and overwhelmed. Somebody, some people have um, bad days on the sales floor. Maybe even I think having if we set up better food options. Wellness program and organize organized certain more open and health habits and maybe did some sponsoring around the building, setting up flyers um, and, and that motivating people met. to get up and uh, move around. Leaderboards. We could even uh, have a counselor on staff that can talk to people when they're having bad days. So I thought what we could do is instead of having cubicles now, we can have co-op desks set up so that people in certain teams can be in a more open environment, in a more welcoming environment, and they can coordinate with one another more effectively. I feel like this would give people a better sense of belonging. I would feel more comfortable at work. Yeah, guys, we would enjoy that. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Now, the one thing I think that's very important is a lot of people don't feel like they get enough appreciation. If we set up some leaderboards, that way we can see who's doing the best and which teams are doing the best. And that way, people can see that they're being praised for their alkalides. The end! All right. So, as you can see in this one, I was covering the different issues people tend to have involving work. Oh, everyone has needs. Yeah, we have the need to feel like we're part of a group, the need to feel that we're individuals, the need to feel like we're accomplishing goals and bettering ourselves. Uh, we have our health concerns. Um, and all this was covered. Starting a wellness program covers health concerns, which a lot of people have. So they set up uh, bulletins and flyers and little newsletters to talk about different health programs, even considered hiring a counselor so that if people need to talk to somebody, um, maybe even having better food options along the, around the facilities. They covered team meetings in uh, cubicles that were more open and cooperative based. That way people would have a better sense of belonging. Uh, weekly team meetings, getting together and discussing things as a unit, 
uh, will make people feel like they're part of a team for the different collective groups. Um, and that need would be met. Uh, leaderboards, um, people who are trying to feel accomplished or successful, uh, people want to have a feeling of accomplishment. So in recognition, the progress reports, training reports, um, and leaderboards do a lot of that. Um, and people want to feel like they have, you know, the ability to grow or learn or develop new things. So training reports help out a lot. So people can see, well, this is how well I've been doing. Here are ways to improve. And these are my goals to be met. Team coaching goes back on the group mentality as well as self-actualization. And in that, we had our episode on motivation and employee satisfaction. Thank you very much. Now that you've seen the show, let's talk about what to expect in management. For those future students, it's your move. In the class, you're going to be taking on a bunch of different tasks and have to use a lot of different types of media in order to accomplish your goals. YouTube's a big deal in this class. You're going to be uploading stuff. So one thing to remember is it's going to take two to ten minutes to upload a video for your group project, for your design challenges. You're going to have to keep that in mind, so don't push those due dates. Otherwise, you might be disappointed when you realize how long it takes to do that. Also, keep in mind if you use PowerPoint or any type of program that requires, requires conversion to MP4 format, that takes time too. Usually it takes about five to ten minutes as well, even if you have a really good computer. All right. You're going to be using Instagram. Between YouTube and Instagram, you better get familiar with how to upload, so, up, upload your work onto these programs. Instagram, you're going to be using to upload your uh, design challenges every week. So look forward to that. Um, also keep in mind, know how to like share links for YouTube and Instagram. And inside the class, in the Canvas, pay attention. You're going to need to keep note of what the password the teacher gives you so you can get into his channels for these. Alright? Now the class is huge on communication. And you're going to be using Canvas for everything. In your groups, you're going to want to communicate. Start a group chat on, chat on Facebook. Group chat on text messaging. Use Snapchat with each other. You want to be able to get a hold of each other. Let each other know what's up. Make Google Docs so you can all share and update and live feed what you're doing. Be familiar with Canvas. You're a college student now. You're going to be using Canvas for every class until you get your degree. The instructor clearly states where syllabus is, the resources you need, his instructions, his rubrics. Know where they are. Find them. Read them, learn them, apply them, reflect on your work, have your group reflect on your work, and make sure all that's done before you submit it. Work ahead. Look at look ahead at this stuff. Don't wait till last minute to be like, oh man, I wonder where the instructions are. Don't do that. That's that's the that's how you fail. That's how you lose. Okay. What was learned? Management has always been an invaluable skill. You take it everywhere you go. This class legitimately teaches you how to handle life. Everyone in this group learned a myriad of things. Uh, communication. Um, how to work together with a group of people. Um, how to handle disputes and issues when people start slacking off uh, motivational tactics to help keep people together so we're all balanced and working out and managing ourselves helping manage each other keeping everything going along a lot of the core concepts are, are very applicable to going about my day-to-day -day life to how Doug's gonna manage his business how Ryan's going to go ahead and set up things with the band before church and doing other events. 
we've all learned stuff from this class. It's a great class. Though, the, the best complement to a management course is a marketing course. They're both courses that focus on how to plan, manage, strategize, work with people, deal with your environment, and it's something you'll carry with you everywhere. Hope this presentation was fun. Hope you enjoyed it as much as me. Thank you for your time and have a great day.